So I have a theory about Darth Vader that will probably blow your mind. But it's not what you'd expect. See, everyone thinks that Darth Vader is dead. But what if he's alive? What if he's been this whole time? Insert the Empire. Dark galactic force, hell-bent on ruling over the galaxy and abolishing and destroying any form of the Jedi. The Sith do not share power. Even the smallest ranks of the Sith seek to gain power over the highest, which has been the way since the dawn of the dark side. But one child's birth was foretold to bring balance to the Force, and that child later became Darth Vader. Now, conflict ensued, which would later end in his demise. But for right now, I'm not really focused on this Darth Vader. Because part of my theory actually goes into the fact that this Darth Vader is actually a clone. Although immensely powerful and something that the Empire had never seen, this Darth Vader was but a stepping stone to the real one. The real Darth Vader was still Anakin Skywalker, not yet changed by the dark side of the Force, hidden away in the unknown regions of the galaxy. This Darth Vader was basically just the fall guy, someone that would be there to stand in for the Emperor and for the Empire. This explains why Palpatine never gave Darth Vader his upgraded suit because it was never intended for this Anakin. The real Anakin was born of the Force. But he was not the father of Luke or Leia. This is why Luke nor Leia were able to bring balance to the Force, as the prophecy foretold. This also explains why Emperor Palpatine is so weak at the end of Return of the Jedi and at the end of Rise of Skywalker. Everything was just stalling time. For the immortal Vader, who is still out there training in the immortal reaches of space, biding his time.